Please welcome to the stage, Ryan Serhant. People though, Woo! we're all the same. Woo! By show of hands, how many people in here are real estate agents? Just so I know. Oh, we won. We won. We did it. We did it. Thank you for coming. Thank you for being here. I know it's a little rainy. It's crazy. It's the start of a brand new year. 2024 is going to be the greatest year of all time, right? Woo! Exactly. It has to be. That's the only way to predict the future. Right? We, we say what we want it to be. And I am uh, future obsessed. Right? I am future. Obsessed, and that's what I want to talk to you about today for a short period of time. And I muscled my way out here. Usually, I do panel discussions, but I was like, Brad, I need to be out here by myself because I have an idea. And these are my people. I'm a real estate agent. Your agents were all in sales, and there are a significant amount of industry challenges ahead of us. Right? There's a lot. Every agent I talk to, things are tough. Things are hard. 2023 was weird. Although I talked to one agent, it was the best year of their career. And then I talk to another agent and it's really, really, really hard. And I get it because there's a lot that we're contending with right now. And the best piece of advice that I was ever given, and I think a lot of you have been with me for a long time, whether you watched me on Million Dollar Listing starting in 2012, or you've followed me through my YouTube vlog experiment that I started six, seven years ago, or you watched me dance on TikTok. <laughs> like, duh. You've been with me for a while. But through all of that time together, really, because I look at all of you like, like my family, because you've been doing this together for so long, regardless of the market that you're in or your experience level, there's always challenges. Right? Times are always hard. My first day in this business was the day Lehman Brothers filed for bankruptcy. Right? The subprime mortgage collapsed, everyone in my office quit, and I was by myself in cowboy boots and khaki pants. I was like, let's do this. It's gonna be great. And that's where I started doing my first rentals and putting myself out there. So even though the market was the absolute worst it had ever been until 2023, uh, you find a way to move forward. You find a way to move forward. Every day is page one. So what industry challenges do we have today? We have, we have high interest rates. Rates are higher, they've started to come down. But rates are high, things are tough. Right? What does that cause? That causes things that people freak out about, like lawsuits. There's law. I think you're actually going to have someone on stage later today with Brad talking about class action industry lawsuits that could change the way our business moves forward, possibly. We have global conflict, war. Things are hard everywhere. We have record low inventory. We have, we have, we have low inventory. We have an affordability crisis. Right? And those are only a few of them. That's all I could fit on this slide. We have a lot of challenges. And what frustrates me the most, and why I wanted to do this, why I started my own company like a lunatic a couple years ago, why I've always tried to do things a little bit different and push things forward, is because we as an industry, the real estate industry, the brokerage industry, how do we respond to challenges like this? Do we innovate? Do we actually move the business forward? Right? What does the industry do? We, we create chatbots, and we, we put them on the blockchain. And then what do we do right now, especially in 2024? AI. Oh, you called it. If it doesn't have AI on it, then it's no good. We, our business has a problem. The real estate brokerage business follows trends. As long as other people are doing it kind of, we like to wrap it, white label it, and put it out and say, oh, oh. We're here, we're here, we're fixing all these problems, all these changes. Your life as an agent, go do everything you've always done forever, but now, as long as you do it this way, this way, this way, and use that and that, you're gonna be totally fine. It's gonna be good, no problem, pay us your split, get out of my door. Right? Right. But again, what is so frustrating to me is I watch other industries, as we all do, that look at these hard challenges, these big changes that are in front of us, and they're actually moving things forward. Technology with AI now is operating at 10x efficiencies and soon to be greater. In medicine, they are now diagnosing and curing diseases faster than ever before. Transportation, we have reusable rockets now. 
in an effort to create a multi-planetary species. You and cars, pretty soon, they're gonna recognize the shape of your butt Woo. so that when you sit into your car, you're, the car's gonna know. So I'm gonna sit down and the car's gonna say, it feels like Ryan. <laughs> I'm gonna move the steering wheel and put it back because he likes to go back. And I'm gonna put the AC on blast because he gets hot very easy. That's gonna know that. I'll take that innovation. That's great, right? That's perfect. I love that. And you know what's amazing about that? Not just the butt thing, <laughs> but all of those changes, all of those innovations, as tough as they are, they move those industries forward because they're hard to solve, which means they create great businesses. Like I said, and I'm sure a lot of you too, got into the business either during the Great Recession with me, or you got into the business during the pandemic when we started our company. Tough, tough time, unless you were in Florida. Right? It's tough times. And how do we respond to these hard changes to make great businesses? We do what I just showed you before, which is we jump on trends and we say this and we say that, but we don't actually push the industry forward. And so I'm super, super nervous that today, tomorrow, going forward, our industry as a whole is going to continue to make the same mistakes of the past and nothing is actually gonna move forward. And we're gonna let people attack us, the industry's not gonna really change, we're gonna experience you know, contraction in our communities. And I'm all about our community, I'm all about education. We have a whole education business through Cell Like Sirhan that, that is growing every single day because all I care about is helping every single person in this room and everyone in this industry. But I'm afraid that we're gonna continue to make the same mistakes. So what do I mean by that? I mean, Let's look at 1.0, okay? So brokerage 1.0 was super easy, but it definitely wasn't simple. Like that guy had a Rolodex on his desk. The MLS was a book and it was easy. It wasn't simple, like you had to get there, right? You had to go drive there. Same thing like the bank, like the bank. You used to have to, you want money, you want to deposit money, go to the bank. See, ba, 